we discovered something and you know the the origin of it was really we used to laugh not so much at comedies uh, with with Jerry Lewis or Mel Brooks we didn't you know, that what we thought were funnier were these uh, dead serious 1950s movies and, and 60s movies and we would laugh hysterically and then we would redub them. And so uh, I think the, the, the kind of the bridge was we wanted to redub Zero Hour. That was the movie that it was based on. Uh, but we said, well, why, why redub it? We can, why don't we just recast it and remake this movie? And then put in what we ordinarily would have dubbed in, and because we and Woody Allen did that in a movie called uh, "What's Up, Tiger Lily," uh, he he got a hold of an old Japanese horror movie or a sci-fi movie, and he redubbed the uh, the voices. And so, I mean, that kind of thing had been done. And then, you know, Mel Brooks did Blazing Saddles and. Uh, Young Frankenstein, but they, they always starred uh, comedians like Gene Wilder. And then in many of Mel Brooks movies, you know, he was the star of it. And, uh, and, and, that, and that worked fine. But, but this style, we wanted to do a completely deadpan. It, part of that may have come from uh, my dad, who uh, would say he couldn't tell a joke if his life depended on it. But he would say very funny things just with a straight face and not not crack, not go, aha, you know, nothing like that. So, and I think Jerry and I grew up with that. And, uh, and Jim Abrams, to some extent, I'm sure, you know, had, we, the three of us were totally in sync and, and wanted to do this. We were, you know, and we also loved the Marx Brothers and, and Woody Allen when he was doing uh, Bananas and Sleeper and all, all his uh, comedies.